YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at if you should be buying your team right now in FC24. We're going to look at the investments I'm currently making and expected content in the next couple of days. But before we go over all that, we got to talk about content today on Sunday. If you want to have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Sunday was great and it made trading really good today. And the SBCs that we got were Declan Rice. We'll look at him first. Declan Rice is around, I think, 130,000 coins, I believe. Two squads, 85 and 86 overall squad. One of them requiring a team of the week. And his card is decent, is what I would say. It's not like insanely overpriced but it's not insanely good, I guess you would say. If he had 80 pace, I feel like everyone would be like, oh my God, incredible. I will say good work rates. I didn't even see his uh, playstyle plus. Oh yeah, I, I don't really understand what this one was too much, but medium high work rate, six foot one for a CDM. That is a position that is lacking in the Premier League. So, I mean, it, the only other option is Tonali. So he's not that bad of a card. Has good links with Saliba, with Saka. So if you want to get a Premier League CDM, you've got Declan Rice. Now the big boy SBC today was the Hero SBC. And this thing was priced very well. I was actually kind of surprised it was this cheap. It was literally just an 86 overall squad. And that cost about 70 to 75,000 coins. And this did make fodder rise. I believe 87s went up the most. At the moment, 86s are up a little bit as well. Nothing too crazy there, but 87s, I think, were the rating that did the best. And yeah, solid SBC. The packs were actually fairly decent as well. We opened a lot of these on stream and they weren't terrible. Yes, sometimes you'd only get like a 70, 80,000 coin, maybe a Berbatov and a Katza, but it wasn't just constant Cahill, uh, most of the void, Dempsey. There were actually some really good ones. So I think this was a great SBC from EA. If you have some fodder, I'd probably recommend you do it. And tomorrow is Monday. You know, we do get upgrade SBC. So maybe you'll be able to craft it. It's out for a couple days. And that was SBCs. And we also had mini release. We're going to go over to Footbin for mini release because I don't even know how I'm going to look up the cards exactly. So new players, we had Gaia. Henderson or is Dante new I didn't even see Dante no I don't think Dante was new maybe he was maybe Dante was new Dante there you go Mitoma this guy's card actually looks kind of nasty Mitoma has a 90 pace 80 shooting 80 passing 90 dribbling four star four star he looks like a really solid card uh the other new one was Jordan Henderson and Gaia I thought it was just Mitoma Gaia and then the third was Henderson but maybe Dante was in there as well I guess so those were the mini release cards overnight flips on them I was hoping they would get cheap but they didn't really come down in price Mitoma started off around 180 and he's like 200k now they didn't really come down I was hoping I would see a dip and I could invest into the dip because tomorrow into Monday, there's really no supply on them. They usually rise a good amount. We saw it last week with Road to the Knockout Team 2, someone like Hinkapi. I'll just show you Hinkapi really quick. I mean, maybe these cards are just going to rise. Gaia and Matoma, maybe they literally just go up in price. But if we look at last week with Road to the Knockout Team 2, you had Sunday night with mini release Hinkapi was down at 46K and then into content drop on Monday went all the way up to 72K. So I was hoping I was going to see a dip on Matoma or, or the Gaia, but they haven't really dropped. So not sure how that's going to work exactly, but I really wouldn't be surprised if they just go up in price. Now let's talk about the market on this game. That Hero SBC made this market drop. It came down pretty heavily. I wasn't watching Heroes, but I'm assuming they rebounded fairly well especially ones that weren't pack common. So let's look at someone like an Alawiren. I'm just curious. Alawiren was down at 400K. The SBC came out and he went all the way up to 470. Yeah, so there was definitely a solid rebound on heroes, big time. Uh, uh, yeah, that is a big jump. I wasn't watching them. I, I don't know if they came down with the hero SBC. I think they, as soon as it came out, they just all started to rise. It wasn't like a dip and then a rise. I think they literally just rose. 
I think everyone was expecting, oh, Hero SBC, panic, let's just go buy. So it's probably what happened there. And I'm pretty sure that movement on a lot of heroes is what happened, just up. Now, you can see right here, big dip at content drop. There was a lot of panic when that Hero SBC came out on gold cards. There were players like Rodman. I'll pull Rodman up just so you can see, for example golds were down big time i think some out of pack specials were down as well someone like rodman though was down at twenty six thousand coins if we go and look at the hourly it might not show it from yesterday but she was chilling at around 32k dropped to 26k i sent a screenshot into my discord so i can actually pull it up so you guys can see it where is rodman at yeah this is why footbin doesn't always get the hourly correct Twenty six thousand coins rodman was down at and that's like fully she was 26k and stuff crashed like big time and then it rebounded fairly quickly as well we were opening packs but i was calling out if you were in the stream i called out a ton of players they rebounded but then they came back down and i said guys you know these cards are back down in price I, before i ended my stream this video is late because my cousin it was her birthday so i went to that house so i'm you know late to this video i'm late i've been late to investing the past few days because i I'm, I'm out uh, yesterday there was no youtube video i went to an amusement park it was like haunted houses and stuff and i got home at one in the morning so i didn't post a youtube video apologies for that but i missed out on the investments that i wanted to do because of that but uh i sent a bunch of these investments to the vip trading discord i called out a bunch of players to buy rodman was down at 27k 26k she's already up at 30,000 coins you can see it on so many cards some of the low tier ones are still down and this market if you guys want to buy your team that's what we said at the start of the video if you want to buy your team it's probably a good time to be buying it the market going into monday usually just rises i built my team i'm playing foot champs i have to finish my games which which kind of stinks but i mean we can already see these cards are rising dabinia was down at like 40k she's 43 uh rafinha was 11 he's 12k musiala was down at 21k i said 21.5 i think and I said 22K, then I said 21.5 again afterwards in my Discord. You can see here, it was down at 21, already re rebounding. This dude was up at like 26K. So hopefully maybe tomorrow he's 25K and we make a few thousand coins per card. Maybe he goes up to like 28K. We get a little lucky there. So I do think these cards are going to keep rising. Uh, if you want to build your team, go for it. They will keep rising into content on Monday. If content drop on Monday isn't that good, which usually Monday is not a crazy content day, these cards are just going to keep rising after content drop but I'll probably be safe and sell before just to, you know, be careful. So some of the cards that haven't risen up too much yet are the lower tier cards. I do want to mention that someone like a Darwin Nunez is still fairly low. He was lower. I think he was around a thousand, may have even been a little less. Let's see. No. So yeah, he's pretty low, but just to show you what happened last week with Monday, we had here Darwin Nunez last week on Sunday was three, six, three, seven. Going into content drop on Monday, went all the way up after content drop to 5.5. Five. And then Tuesday, he went all the way up to 6,000, 6,200 coins. So I'm just holding these cards. If you want to hold past content drop on Monday, it is fine, especially if content isn't that good. If content's not that good, cards do tend to just kind of rise Monday to Tuesday. But always sell like Tuesday night. I wouldn't really hold into content drop on Wednesday. Let's look at someone like a St. Maximin. Let's see how low this guy is. I'll probably send a few of these into my VIP trading discord. Remember, if you guys want to join my VIP discord, all you got to do is sub to my Twitch channel. If you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free. So 1900 coins, that's actually a pretty decent price on someone like St. Maxman. He's been chilling above 2k, 2.5 looks like. And if we look at last week on Sunday, he was down at around 3.8 going into content drop Monday, 4.8. And then on Tuesday, 6.3. So from... 3.8 to 6.3. That's pretty good. Hopefully we can see something like that again as we go into Monday and Tuesday. But the mid-tier cards are already rising. Do I think they can still rise? Yes. Other cards that I think are going to keep rising that have risen a ton. Road to the knockouts. I've told you guys, if you want to have players in your team that you're not really going to lose coins on and you're going to, you know, make coins that are really good and you can just keep using them, buy Road to the Knockouts. These guys have flown. I bought my DePaul for 280. He's 290. Modric, I got 245. Dude's 320. Dembele was 700k a few days ago. He's 850 now. Joe Pedro was down at 250 on Friday. The dude was like 310, 320, I think, today. Sizoko was down at 60k. He's over 70. They're all rising and 
yes, they're up in price, but they're probably just going to keep going up in price. Other cards I liked, Team of the Week cards, their lows are usually on Sunday. It would have been better to buy earlier when they were lower, but if you're late, you know, I do still think they can continue to rise. Giroud, I've been buying for 15.5. The dude's 16.75. If you can get for 16K, preferably below that, I'm okay with that. Romero for 16K, I'm okay with that price. You might have to pay, you might have to pay a little more than that. They're up, they're, they're rising. The other team of the week cards that I was interested in was really Sterling. I wanted him to be closer to 60K, it didn't happen. I don't care about Lukaku too much, Obama Yang. Maybe Obama Yang could be decent, but Lukaku's kind of just fodder. Malinkovic Savage is also somewhat fodder. And then Val Valverde is really expensive. He could rise out of packs, probably does. Uh, Coman, I, I could maybe watch Coman 150, but the thing is, I also think he's somewhat up in price already. If we go check, I think he was down in the 130. No, he wasn't. Okay. You can maybe think about Coman if you want it in your team. Rising out of packs, not sure how much he moves necessarily, but decent card there the two that are just low risk is the Giroud in the romero you have Giroud with a blanc sbc coming the rafael liao sbc and with the romero you have the sun sbc are people doing sun gonna link them with romero maybe not but it's just a little bit potential that could boost the card a tiny bit more so that's the market i think it's rising if you want to build your team go for it as you can see i did buy my team uh bought the golds i also picked up a gattuso because i needed the chemistry and i'm selling those cards probably before content drop but i can hold if i want to hold they'll probably rise even more if content's not good now fodder i want to talk about fodder it did rise i think it's going to continue to rise one of the investments that i full i didn't full send i wanted to was 85s for 4,000 coins or less and it was really easy to pick them up on bid today. I was getting 85s on bid for like 2,000 something coins today. It was actually kind of crazy. Let's see if there's any good deals here. I was overpaying a little bit on a few of them. But do we have any good deals? What do we got? What do we got? I think this just goes through all of them. They might be behind this. 3.9, 3.3. Three. There were a few really good deals today. The bids, because the Hero SBC came out, bids were insane. We had so many people listing up their fodder because of the Hero SBC. I just told people, yo, get on bids. There's so much supply on fodder right now on the market because people are just listing up their fodder because the Hero finally came out. And it was it was kind of crazy, some of the deals that we were getting on the market. Uh, what else do we have? I mean, that's pretty much it for the investments. I bought these Giroud's, you can see here, 15.25, 15.5. It was really easy to buy. The dude's already up over a thousand coins. So we're doing really great there. I bought some Enzo Fernandez's. I'm trying to do this thing. You can do it with any card that has a really expensive price range. I'm trying to see if I can match uh, coin transfer. So some say some kid or a coin website is like, oh, 27,005. They're, they're like, oh, I'm going to buy this Enzo Fernandez. I'm going to transfer it. I'll buy him for 22K, list for 349, and I'll transfer the coins like that. Uh, so I'm just trying to copy it exactly. So if I see someone list up an Enzo Fernandez with an engine for 27,500 coins, 349K buy now, that's kind of weird. It's probably a coin transfer. I copy it exactly, and I try to hope they buy my card instead of buying theirs. I've done it. This works. We've done it in previous FIFAs. We know it works. Um, you don't want to get more than one sale a day. When you start to sell more than one a day, that's when it gets a bit sketchy. We had a few people in the stream get sales doing this, so it, we know it works this FIFA. It's worked in previous ones. It's broken, so uh, I'll see if I can get a sale doing that. And here are my 85s. I'm probably not selling my 85s until Tuesday. I think the Team of the Week SBC refreshing every day, it requires an 85 and it's repeatable twice. So I'm just going to hold my 85s. The supply from Foot Champs with Fodder is also done. So that is my whole situation. My investments in Fodder, my investments in cards. I got about 470K. I'm probably going to hop on Snipes for some players. Maybe I'll go pick up a Rafinha for 11K. Maybe I'll still try to get a Musiala for, he's 23, but maybe I can still get a Snipe for like 22. That's basically my night. That's all I'm going to do. And I have to play like 13 foot champs games. So I have a very exciting night ahead of me. But guys, any questions, comment section down below. My trading discord, my Twitch live stream description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.